Hello, everybody. This is Jason Rowe, head coach of Bishop Timon High School. This is something special. Having a season cut short like this is something special, um, something different. Uh, you know, obviously you'll have injuries, but to have it in a way that you just can't do anything and there's nothing you can do about it. These kids see a gym every day. They see a basketball every single day and they just don't have the opportunity to go out and get it. It's, it's, this is something I've never, ever experienced before. Since the quarantine hit, I've been studying film. You know, every year after the season, I always critique myself so I can get better. Um, so I can help these kids out the best way that I possibly can. And again, with this quarantine, with everything pretty much being shut down, that shut down, I think it's hurting a lot of the kids. Just, just, in, and I'm talking rep-wise. I'm not even talking about trying to get to another school, play defense. I'm just talking about getting in the gym, getting better at your craft, and just playing every single day helps you tremendously. And these kids, you know, unfortunately, don't have that opportunity right now. You know, hopefully these guys are still working on something while they're in the house. They can still work on their ball handling. They can look at film, really study the film, look at good games, look at bad games, look at so-so games, because that eye, you know, I always say the eye in the sky never lies. So you can pretty much see what it is that you need to get better at, and you can see what it is that you do well. This season was special. Uh, just, I mean, again, our goal was winning the league. Our goal was winning the state championship. Bishop Hyman hasn't won a championship in basketball since 2001, and we have an opportunity to be different. And we were able to obtain that. In terms of winning the league, that was our first goal. Um, unfortunately, it was cut short due to COVID, uh, so we couldn't play in a state championship game. But it doesn't diminish anything that these kids accomplished this year at all. Delivering that message, it was it was. It was traumatizing for me because I know how hard these kids work. You know, unfortunately, I have four seniors this year. They'll never get to experience that. Never, never, never again. You know, they were texting me every single day, you know, wondering what the outcome was. So when I finally heard and was told that, okay, we won't be able to play, it was, it was pretty crushing. It was, it was crushing. You know, I, I let them know that it's unfortunate, but it's bigger than basketball. You know, we need to make sure that we're safe, your family's safe, prayers are to those that were affected. You know, I just try to take that route as opposed to a pity party and saying, okay, we won't be able to play, this is screwed up. I had to tell them like, this is bigger than basketball and the kids, they handled it well. Going into next year and I'll stress that to the kids, we're zero and zero now. You know, we're zero and zero. We accomplished the goal last year, we have to do it again. So now with this quarantine, I check on them. For me, the work will show when we get back in the if this is a goal that you want to accomplish, you'll put the work in for it. And, and the coach doesn't have to tell you, get in the gym or, or as of right now, get outside or get in your driveway or your basement and do ball hands. So you'll do it on your own.